I am Mario Herbert, and this is Revelation for Life. Psalm 29 tells us a lot about the voice of the Lord and what it does. If you look at verse 4, verse 4 says, The voice of the Lord is powerful. The voice of the Lord is full of majesty. Verse 5 says, The voice of the Lord breaketh the cedars. Yea, the Lord breaketh the cedars of Lebanon. There is power contained in just His voice. The cedars of Lebanon are nothing easy to break, but God does it with just his voice. His voice is powerful. It is full of majesty. It is able to shatter great trees with just an utterance. This is the voice of the God that we serve. Verse 7 says, The voice of the Lord divideth the flames of fire. Verse 8 says, The voice of the Lord shaketh the wilderness. The Lord shaketh the wilderness of Kadesh. Verse 9 says, the voice of the Lord maketh the hinds to calf, and discovereth the forest, and in his temple doth everyone speak of his glory. Just with his voice, he can divide the fires around me. He can shake the wilderness around me. He can take me from wilderness to forest. He can even make birth to occur just with his voice. This is the voice of the Lord. This is the voice of the God that we serve. Verse 3 says, The voice of the Lord is upon the waters. The God of glory thundereth. The Lord is upon many waters. Even the seas, even the seas in all their turbulence and storms are at the command of the voice of the Lord. Just as Jesus calmed the sea around the disciples, the Lord can calm the storms around you with just His voice. This is the voice of the God that we serve. Saints, this voice is at our disposal. This voice is speaking into our situations. If we would only tune our ears to heaven to hear what the voice of the Lord is saying, we would have no fear whatsoever. Psalm 85 and verse 8 says, I will hear what God the Lord will speak, for he will speak peace unto his people and to his saints. Oh my, I want to repeat that again. I will hear what God the Lord will speak, for he will speak peace unto his people and to his saints. But let them not turn again to folly. We often speak of fixing our eyes to heaven, but what about our ears? What about our ears? Keep your ears to heaven to receive the peace which God speaks. Jesus is the Prince of Peace. What is spoken from heaven, it will always put you at peace. Tune out the folly around you and just tune your ears to heaven. Now, I want to get practical for a moment because I know some of you might be out there hearing this, watching me right now and saying, but how do I practically hear the voice of the Lord? It's all fine saying tune your ear to heaven, but how can I practically get this accomplished? I want to say to you first and foremost that God speaks to his children. Make no mistake about it, God speaks to his children. John chapter 10 and verse 27 says, My sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me. John chapter 8 and verse 47 says, He that is of God heareth God's words. Ye therefore hear him not, because ye are not of God. God speaks to those who are his own. God speaks to his children. Let's get that. That settled first and foremost. Now, next thing. God speaks to us through his Holy Spirit who lives within us. John chapter 16 verse 13 says, But when he, the Spirit of truth, comes, he will guide you into, into all the truth. 
he will not speak on his own. He will speak only that which he hears and he will tell you what is yet to come. This is the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit whom Christ sent when he left as a comforter and a helper for us. He lives within us and he is who God speaks through. He is how, how God gets his word to us. I want to say to you also, and make no mistake about this, that God is willing to speak. We just have to ask and listen in faith that he is willing to speak and he will do it. Jeremiah 33 and verse 3 says, Call unto me and I will answer thee and show thee great and mighty things which thou knowest not. This is God speaking. This is the God that is incapable of lying. He's saying, call unto me and I will answer. God is willing to speak. If you call unto him, it is a given God is going to answer. You just need to have the faith to listen for the answer. Now I know that somebody out there is probably asking, okay, but how can I be sure the voice I'm hearing is really God? Well, first and foremost, I want to say to you that like anything else in life, you have to practice it to get better at it. But it helps to know the written word of God. It helps to read the word, to meditate upon the word. Because the same spirit God speaks through is, is the same spirit who inspired the writing of scripture. All scripture is God breathed. The same spirit which breathed life into Adam breathed out the scripture. Everyone who wrote what is in scripture wrote it under the inspiration of the Holy Spirit. And this is the same spirit that is in us that God is speaking to us through. So everything he's saying to you now is going to line up with what was written in scripture. And he will bring it to your remembrance. John chapter 14 and verse 26 says, But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance whatsoever I have said unto you. Whatsoever I have said unto you, he will bring it to your remembrance. Whatever God says will line up. Whether spoken or written, it will all line up because all of it is the same source and God cannot lie. He will never contradict himself, so it will line up. If you're hearing anything and wondering, is it God? One of the first things you can do is check, does this line up with the scripture? And it helps if you know it because if you know it, the same spirit who is speaking it can bring it to your remembrance saints of God, I want to leave you with the encouragement. God's voice is powerful and is speaking to us to bring us peace. We just have to turn our ear toward heaven so that we can hear what he's saying. We have to tune into him. Let him speak through his spirit to us. This is revelation for life. Your letter.